second card is going to be this one. So with this one, what I did is, this is a thinking outside the box kind of card. So when I looked at the berry, um, I was flipping through some different samples on Pinterest and I saw that someone had made a pair with it. So I was like, hmm, I think I'll try making a pair with it. And so that's what we're gonna do with our next card. So, <clears throat> except uh, I can't use this. <laughs> For whatever reason, my elegantly said punch is um, frozen. So I'm gonna have to call demonstrator support and get it replaced, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so what we're doing for this card is we're going to, we have um, our um, typical base of our card and the base of the card is five and a half by eight and a half. And then we score it at four and a quarter. So that's the white um, base of the card. Then I'm using garden green designer series paper and um this was the other pattern but i'm out of it this this was my last piece unfortunately <laughs> i'll have to order some more but this um is the same color but it's just a different pattern so i'm going to use this i'm just gonna throw some glue on the corners here and then stick it down And um, the base was four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this piece, um, this layer of designer series paper is four by five and a quarter. So there's that. So I'm going to stamp first. So um, this time I'm going to look at my berry sentiments. I'm just going to ink that up. You can see how it's um, got enough ink on it. And then I'm gonna stamp it off to the side a little bit. Check your ink block before you stamp. Okay, so here we go with that. All right. Okay. And then I'm gonna put some glue on the back of this one. I'm going to make sure it's even before I punch it. So I have the same amount of space on both sides. And it's straight. And then punch. Okay. That looks better. Okay. That looks good. All right. So the next step is I'm going to take my pear. I'm bringing that, it goes this way. So I'm gonna stamp down this way for the stem of the pear. Okay, I'm gonna stamp down with that. I'm kind of lining it up right before I, um, stamp down to make sure that it's lined up. I'm gonna go in with my punch. I'm gonna punch out my stem on my pear. It's gonna look a little bit different for the pear because I'm gonna cut off um, part of the leaves. So I mainly just want the stem. Okay. So I'm going to trim that down a little bit more. Okay. Alright, so there's our little stem on our pear. Poor little pear. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to have a leaf coming off of that. I'm going to just 
punch that out. And, you know, like I said earlier, you could um, definitely, if you want to skip the punch, you could definitely fussy cut all these. It's just going to take you a little bit longer to do that with all the details. So, the punch is a great time saver if you want to use it. Alright. So... Now I'm going to stick my leaf behind my pear. And I'm gonna just stick that down. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna take a tiny piece of the pale papaya, and for um this part, like right here, I just tied a really um like simple knot. it a little bit make it a little bit shorter even this out a little bit more I'm gonna trim off a tiny little bit I'm just gonna stick this down just to add a little something something to it there here we go now I'm gonna add some dimensionals to the back I'm going to mount this on the front of my card. Okay, so there we go. There's our second card that we're making together today. Thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I made this card today. Remember to give it a like or a thumbs up and hope you subscribe to my channel. Tune in for more next time. Bye.